Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed and refreshed? Well, come on, it's time for Moed Shell Rider, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. To the Word of God, let's go, let's go. To the Word of God, to be blessed and refreshed. Come on, let's go. The word of the Lord is coming from Daniel chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, then he said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come in answer to your prayer. But for 21 days, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. And I left him there with the spirit prince of the king of Persia. And the note says, although God sent a messenger to Daniel, a powerful spiritual being, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia detained the messenger for three weeks. Daniel faithfully continued praying and fasting. And God's messenger eventually arrived, assisted by Michael the archangel. Answers to our prayers may be hindered by unseen forces, by unseen obstacles. Don't expect God's answers to come too easily or too quickly. Prayer may be challenged by evil forces. So pray fervently and pray earnestly. Then expect God to answer at the right time. My beloved, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, I come to encourage you today to let you know that God heard your prayer the very first day. The very first day that you purposed in your heart that I'm going to seek God. The day that you purposed and said, God, I'm acknowledging you in this. The very time, that first time you did that, your prayer has been heard in heaven. We serve a God that not only hears our prayers, but he is able to do something about it. He's able to answer them. He's able to heal. He's able to deliver. He's able to set free. He's able to provide for your every need. Beloved, be encouraged. What if Daniel would have given up? He prayed for three weeks, for 21 days. Some of us have been praying for a long time. Some of us have been believing God, but I want to come and encourage you today. Don't give up now. Today may be the 21st day. Don't give up. God will do exactly what he said. Grab hold to faith and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. Don't lean to what people say. Don't lean to what a report says. Don't lean to what the doctor says. He is our Jehovah Rapha. The God that healeth us from every disease. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Come on, declare it and decree it. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. Come on, decree it, declare it, agree with heaven. I am the healed of the Lord. I am above only and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. And my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. God, you said, beloved, above all, I would that you would prosper, be in health, even as your soul doth prosper. So come on, decree and declare with me today. My soul is prosperous. My soul is fat and flourishing. 
Hallelujah. I want you to be reminded that when the children of Israel were being taxed with a hard taskmaster, they decided they weren't even going to give them the straw to make the bricks. The more the pressure, the more they multiplied and grew. Beloved, God is on your side. And if God be for us, who can be against us? I'm challenging you. Take hold of faith. Speak to that mountain. Don't talk about the mountain. Uh uh. The word of God said if you have faith, the grain, the size of a seed of mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, Be thou cast into the midst of the sea, and it shall be done. Come on, curse that mountain. Just like the Lord Jesus cursed that fig tree that had leaves but no fruit. Ha, hallelujah. Ah, uh, so that disease, it might have leaves, but no fruit. So curse it. Curse it at the root. Hallelujah. That problem, it may have leaves. You may see it. It may look like it's prosperous, but get closer. It has no fruit. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we love you and we bless you. God is wonderful. God can do all things for what's impossible for man is just right for God. I want you to be encouraged today. And from the very first day that you set your heart to seek God for understanding, to seek God for your answer, to seek God for your healing, to seek God for his strength, he's dispatched the angels. And we thank God that the word of God is going forth today to strengthen the angels, that they will complete the mission that God has sent them to do. For he has given angels charge over you to keep you lest you dash your foot against a stone so be encouraged my brother be encouraged my sister God has not forgotten you God has not forgotten what he says he will perform it my God's gonna do it my God's gonna do it he will do it. He's gonna do it. Just hold on. Just believe. He's doing it. It's on the way. Your healing is on the way. Your deliverance is on the way. Whatever you need, God can do it today. Just believe, just believe, just believe, just believe. Hold on. Help is on the way. <laughs> Hold on, my brother, my sister. Hold on. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Lift up your hands. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the King of glory come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the long strong, mighty in battle. That's who is on his way. He's on to rescue you. He's on his way to rescue you. He will. He will do it. For God is not man. He cannot lie. He will do what he has promised. Hold on. Help is on the way. Come on, let's pray. Father, Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, we come giving you glory, giving you praise, giving you honor, for you are a good God. You are an awesome Father. We love you, Daddy. And we come before you giving you glory, giving you honor, giving you praise because there is no one like you. There's no one that can do what you can. God, someone has a situation that seems hopeless. Someone has a report that is negative. But God, you are able to turn it around. You are able to make it good for them. So Father, we decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus, according to your word, according to your promises. God, we stand on your word. We stand firmly on your word and we tag you, God. We totally allow you, God, to move.
For only you can do this. Nobody else can do it but you. God, we thank you. We decree miracle signs and wonders in our bodies, in our homes, on our jobs. We decree the manifestation of your glory in our bodies. We decree it, God. We agree with you, Father. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for you. Cancer is not too hard for you. Tumors are not too hard for you. Father, you are a consuming fire. Consume everything that's in our bodies that's not like you in the name of Jesus we curse it at the root we curse it at the root and we decree as your word says father that no weapon formed against us shall prosper it may form but it won't prosper we decree hallelujah and we agree with heaven today that it will not prosper oh God but you'll get the glory you'll get the glory out of this You'll get the glory out of this, oh God. Father, we decree that we shall live and not die. And we shall show forth your praises here on the earth. We shall bless your name here on the earth. We shall proclaim and testify of your goodness, of your great power, oh God, of your healing power. God, we come as the woman with the issue of blood saying and decreeing that if we can only touch the hem of your garment, we know we will make, be made whole, God. So we press, we get in the press, we get in the press, we get in the press. And God, we reach out in faith, hallelujah, saying if we can just touch the hem of your garment, we know that we will be made whole. So God, thank you for making us whole. We lean not unto our own understanding, but we acknowledge you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are our healer. You are our deliverer. You are our way maker. You are our promise keeper. God, our eyes are on you. God, we're waiting for you to move. Hallelujah. It's time for you to move, God. Hallelujah. Move on our behalf, Father. Hallelujah. God, we're praising you in advance. We thank you. We thank you, God, for turning the situation around. Thank you. Thank you for giving us strategy in this time and in this season. Ah, God, sharpen our discerning of spirits, Father. We come against the spirit of pain now. We come against the spirit of pain. We loose it off of our bodies. That one that's wrapped in pain, we lose pain now. And we cover them in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh God, soak us in the blood of Jesus. Oh God, you are the bomb in Gilead. You are our healer, Jehovah Rapha. Heal us from the sole of our feet to the crown of our heads. Let there be no infirmity in our bodies. Let there be no sickness for there's no sickness in you, Father. There's no sickness in the kingdom of God and we are the kingdom of God. God, we crown you as Lord of our lives, God. And because you are Lord over us, we are the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, there is no sickness there is no infirmity. There is no sadness. There is no depression. There is no lack in the kingdom of God. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as your ambassadors that represent the kingdom, God, I pray, God, for everyone under the sound of my voice that is experiencing pain, we plead the blood of Jesus according to your word. We stand in the authority that you have given us. You said, Father, that we should replenish multiply, subdue, hallelujah, have dominion, God. So Father, right now we come into the authority that you've given us and we decree that we are the healed of the Lord. We decree that we are the healed of the Lord. We decree that we are prosperous and fruitful. We decree that we shall live and not die. We decree that we are your sons and we are your daughters. We decree it now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask that you would dispatch your archangels right now to do combat in our atmosphere, that it will be conducive of worship and praise. We come against the spirit of depression. We come against the spirit of lowliness of heart, 
Oh God, in the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Joy is our portion. Healing is our portion. Deliverance is our portion. Redemption is our portion. Oh God, prosperity is our portion, God. And we thank you for doing it on our behalf, God. Thank you. Hallelujah for the suddenly, 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 right now in the sound of our voice, God, healing, virtue, we send it through the airways, you're healing, you're healing, you're healing in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Beautiful are the feet of those that preach the gospel. So, Father, in the foot area, we decree healing right now. We decree the Holy Spirit, the flaming fire of God. Get in those feet and clean. Hallelujah. Out everything that's not like you. We come against the spirit of gout. We come against calcification and the calcification in the name of Jesus. Anything that would hinder the correct flow of the blood in our bodies. Ah, uh, Holy Spirit, you do the CAT scan, Holy Spirit. You do the X-ray, Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, God, and you be the transfusion, God. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Saramande shokoya. You, you do the blood transfusion. You do the divine surgery. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. For you were the first physician. The first surgeon. God, we trust you totally. We tag you in, God. This is too heavy for us. We tag you in. We totally allow God to move on our behalf. We take our hands off it. And all we do right now, God, is worship you. We worship you while we wait. We worship you while we wait. Oh God, we come against heart palpitations, right? God, we lift your name high above every heart affliction. We speak to every vow, every artery open up in the name of Jesus. Every bronchial tube open up in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Go through every blood vessel, every cell, every bone, every ligament, every tendon. We speak healing now. We release our faith and we agree and partner with the faith of heaven. And we decree healing now, healing now, healing now, healing now, healing now, healing now, healing now God. In the name of Jesus, Father, you said these signs shall follow those that believe. Ah, uh, in your name, in your name, not in my name, but in your name, I decree healing. I decree the manifested manifestation of healing in everybody that's feeling pain right now. God, do it, and we'll give you the glory. God, do it. We give you the honor. I praise you in advance for doing this. I thank you in advance for doing this. I give you glory right now. I don't wait to hear the testimony, but God, I know you've done it. So I thank you right now. I thank you for the healing of your people, of your sons and your daughters. For this is your desire that we would be whole, Lord. So I decree wholeness from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. From the sole of their feet to the crown of their heads. Let your anointing overtake them right now. Jesus, you reign. God, you are supreme. We believe your report. We believe your report. We believe your report, Ramande Shaya, Karuku Bedesikiana, Rabokoshe. And we worship you while we wait. While we while you work, God, we worship. We worship you while you work. Hallelujah. Hey God. We worship you while you work. While you work. While you do it. We worship you, oh God. 
God, we thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength, so we decree strength. We decree joy for your sons and your daughters. Lift up your head, all ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the King of glory, let the King of glory come in. Let him come in. Let him come in. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, let him come in. Let him come in, the King of glory. Hallelujah. Father, we take our hands off the situation. And God, we say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Hallelujah. And we say, God, we believe. We believe. We believe. We believe. We believe in your awesome healing power. And God, we just thank you. Thank you, Jesus. God, there's nothing too hard for you. You open up the eyes of the blind. Hallelujah. You open up the ears of the deaf. God, you gave, oh God, the activities of the limbs to those that were paralyzed, to those that could not walk. God, you were able to heal the lame. You healed the leper. So God, what is heart trouble? What what is kidney problems? What what is foot trouble. What, what is that to you? It's nothing. What is arthritis? It's nothing. So we lift your name high above everything that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Because you are great. You have the first and the last say for you are Alpha and you are Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end and you will perfect those things that concern us. That's why we cast all our cares upon you because you care for us, God. So God, once again, we say tag. <laughs> you're in, God, tag. We're out, but you're in tag. We totally allow God to move on our behalf. We totally allow God to do this miracle. We totally allow God we give him all the glory all the praise we surrender everything to him every day when the enemy comes in like a flood the spirit of the Lord lifts up to stand and say uh uh nope it's not going that way so we thank you so we thank you for life and we thank you for strength and we thank you for encouraging us to know that you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us. You're with us always, even to the very end. Because you made us more than conquerors. You cause us to triumph, we triumph, we triumph. We triumph in you, so God, we just thank you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In the matchless, mighty, powerful, never failing <laughs> name of Jesus. Amen and amen. There's nothing my God can do. Oh, we bless you. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing God can't do, beloved. I want you to hold on to faith. Tag God. Totally allow God to move. Don't you try to figure it out. God's already worked it out. But he's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and he's the end. Whatever he's begun in you, trust and believe he's going to perform it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. It's for his name's sake. His name is on it. We carry his name. He's not going out like that. What? God's going to do it. Your job is just to believe and trust and worship him while he works. Go ahead. Worship him while 
you wait and worship him while he works. He's working it out for your behalf. He's working it right now on your behalf. We have the greatest attorney. He's working it out for you. Can you just believe it? All right, I'm going to challenge you today. I need you to believe. Believe that God can do anything. So I want you in the comments, I want you to just say tag. I'm worshiping you while you work. And I'm worshiping you while you wait. Oh, be reminded tag means totally allow God. To say, I tag God. I totally allow God. I tag him. And I'm worshiping him. While he works. And while he waits. Go ahead, I challenge you. Come on, write it in, write it in the comments. Send a response. I tag God. I totally allow God. And I'm worshiping him while I wait. I'm worshiping him while he works. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shelraga, the appointed time of refreshing. Continue to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. There's nothing that God can't do. Shalom.